We're back. I wanted to get a, get a price list in front of me. We have 24 unopened mystery boosters. Uh, I almost never do this, but I got the box for basically $100, so pretty much can't go wrong. Um, let's rip them. It could be a mystery. They're magic cards. Wow. Stonehaven Met. I gotta hold this in a good spot so you guys can see it. Okay. Expedition. Oh, support 2. Yeah, Battle Bond. Displace. I think I just bought one of these for Commander. Theros Divination. Whenever a vampire breaks to tap, you gain a life. Oh, these cards have pretty good stock. Hound of the Far Bogs. Delirium. His menace as long as a four more card has Okay, so it's a five three menace if you have delirium. Beetleback Chief. <laughs> That's awesome. From Flame Chase. Um this card's sweet. Rush of Adrenaline gets plus two and plus one in trample. Tukatunk Thalad, more plane chase. Tajuru Warcaller. When it enters the battlefield, another ally enters the battlefield. Creatures you control So it's allies. It's just a five minute two one. <laughs> okay. we we'll just have Bloodbraid Elf and Uncommon. Oh my god, I can't wait to draft this set. <laughs> Hot soup! Hey! <laughs> and our first rare. Let's play the rare game. It's red. Oh, I revealed it. Oh no, it's not a rare. This is our uncommon. That's right. I keep thinking like it's a normal pack. Brimstone Mage. Oh man, I definitely drafted this card. Boy, seven mana to get your first ping is a bummer. But getting up to threes is pretty busted. So, will this be... Let's see what we got. We got a Hornet Nest. Oh, this card's amazing. Whenever it's dealt damage, put that many 1-1 one, one green insect creature tokens of flying and death touch onto the battlefield. Um, that looks like our rare. And then we got a foil. Oh, an undead war chief? Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Chad, where are you at, man? I got a buddy who's a big not zombie fan. He's all over this. Well, that's our rare, and then our foil from the pack. Plus, we got a Bloodbraid Elf, so that's a really good first start. Um, I'm going to set those aside. Just kind of put the rest of these kind of common E things kind of out of the way. Wow, we're going to do this 23 more times. <laughs> we're doing pretty good already. So, 24, like, do the math, right? It's... Uh, 24 times 5, it's like, oh, let's see, so you got 100 bucks into 24 packs. So yeah, it's like $4 and something cents a pack overall. Pretty crazy. Uh, I see the order of <laughs> these cards. It's very weird. Okay, so Sarah's Embrace. That's a sweet freaking magic card. Felidar Guardian. <laughs> what did this little guy do to get banned? He's so cute. Aw. Turns out Sahili did some really nice tricks for them. Energy Hermit Crab. Why Why? Why are energy? Why is energy anywhere near this set? <laughs> okay, all right. Mana War. Now there's a card we can draft with. Yes, please. Here's a one mana 2-1 one from Ixalan. We have a bad combat trick. We have Volcat Predator whenever a land. Uh, landfall plus 2 plus 2. That's pretty beefy. Three mana, four, four, basically, as long as you're playing your lands. Battle Ramparts. This is most commonly used to uh, generate mana with overgrown battlements. And Rise of Eldrazi, I know that. Thrive. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each of X target creatures. Those are decks. Might be all over this one. Colony Heart Expedition. Prime Time's best friend. Underrated Garden Commander to spend two mana and go get three land, go get two lands. So it's really, really good. It's just that you really want to have it in your opening hand. It's a, cra it's a crappy draw. Mercurial Geists. I opened this with an, an, a Winston draft with Ben in one of those Walmart Chaos packs, and it was really good because I had some instant stuff. Thornwood Falls because mana. Nemesis of Reason. This is a 5-mana 3-7 when it attacks, defending player mills 10. It's kind of a meh card. Precursor Golem, also a little bit of a meh card. Um, it's 5-mana 3 3 threes. It's just they all die to the same removal spell, but they all get the same pump spell, which is pretty neat. And we got a foil conspiracy. <laughs> These old frame foils are so sweet. It's another time-shifted one, though. 
So we got conspiracy and undead war chief. So I guess you're supposed to name zombie and everything's zombies. And then all your stuff is zombies. Wow. So we got some really cool foils so far. I'm, I'm anticipating these foils are going to be crazy. And Hornet's Nest is going straight into the commander collection. Let's see what else we got. Savannah Lions, a classic. Two, one for two. Light Walker, classic. Uh, we battle bond draft. This was really solid. Fog Walker, one three skulk taps down a thing when it enters the battlefield. Essence Scatter, one of my favorite limited cards. Zolaport Chain Mage, four two cohort tap tap an ally you control. Each opponent target opponent loses two. Oh I, boy, that seems solid if you're doing ally things. Gurmag Angler, this card needs no introduction. Extremely good. In any format in which the graveyard is a reasonable thing to count on. Erratic Explosion. You have to choose the target before you know what the damage is. <laughs> okay, Vessel of Volatility. That's just a, kind of a role player where you need enchantments. Yavi Maya Elder. There's a real magic card. Commander card. Used to be like a big green staple, but green's gotten so much more powerful in the last five to ten years that this card hasn't been quite as useful anymore but still does a really good job getting you three cards for one um gnarled pack it's just a kind of a generic multi-kicker death reap ritual this is a real card <laughs> this thing is amazing i've gone off with this plenty of times a commander really cool fun implement of malice so just kind of stuff guided passage this card is a weird magic card <laughs> you look at, you gotta have team or colors. You look at the top, you reveal your entire library. Your opponent has to give you a creature, a land, and a non creature, non land. Um, I still feel like there's a format in which this should be busted, but in Commander, it's more of a political thing. You, your opponents, you let, you, you ask somebody who you like, hey, give me this Wrath of God in my deck. So that, um, you know, if, if you have access to black or you play Mystical Tutor type stuff or Gamble, you really shouldn't need this, but it's a super fun kind of political card. So, Beastmaster Ascension, no complaints there. Uh, as long as <laughs> this card just kills a lot of players. Um, let's see. And we got a Foil Scrib Ranger. Flash, Flying Pro Blue. You can untap creatures. Um, I am not a big elf expert. Or fairy expert, so I don't really know what stuff this is good in, but I gotta imagine that Pro Blue means that the utility on it is pretty good. And I feel like this card goes infinite with like a million things, but I don't actually know what those things are. So we'll set them aside. What does a Beastmaster Ascension go for? It's like four bucks right now. That's cool. So no big heavy hitters yet. We'll uh, we'll see what happens. What do we open? Three packs so far. Not like we're doing bad. We got some sweet cards here so far. Alrighty. Soul Parry. It's kind of a bad fog. Um, but it's cool that it has Elspeth, Elspeth and Mirrodin dunking on these dudes. So, Jerry's Resolve. You can use this to untap your tapping things in white and commander. And cycling is, means it's never dead. Cancel is cancel. Vapor Snag, who is a class. The day they power creep to unsummon. Um... This card, <laughs> I mean, technically, right, it's not sticky better because, you know, if you bounce your own thing, uh, you will take the damage. But usually you're bouncing your opponent's stuff. Let's get real here. Crow of Dark Tidings. This card was big in the core set. If I, was it a core set? I don't know. I feel like this card's been in a lot of stuff. It's really good. Blight Soil Druid. Tap, pay one life, add one green to your mana pool. Eh, it's two mana. There's decks that are going to want this when we draft for sure. Ill-Tempered Cyclops from Conspiracy. Got Swashbuckling. Creature gets plus two, plus two in haste. That's efficient. Quiet Disrepair. Enchant, enchantment Artifact. At the beginning of your upkeep, you destroy the thing that it's on, or you gain two. So you can kind of let your opponents have it for a while and then destroy it when you want to. Lay of the Land. Go get a basic. Tower Gargoyle, because Esper 4-4 four, four Flyer for four, I guess. <laughs> Tazaret says it can only be appreciated from a distance. The bookcase! <laughs> we all we love the bookcase. Oh, and then we got a blip card. Juicy Apprentice. This guy. Draw a card. If you have nine cards in hand, let me get right on that. Uh, flip it. Flip it. Now it's this guy. 
a target player draws X cards, where X is the number of cards in your hand. So presumably you have nine cards, you flip this thing, you untap it, you draw. This is just like the, the amount of hoops you have to jump through to do this is ridiculous. But cool reminder of some of the crazy stuff they tried in Kamigawa. And <laughs> Temporal Mastery! Woohoo! This card's sweet. I uh, have a copy of a lot of these cards for Commander. This is one of them. Um, just a super sweet time walk. Sometimes you're fine to just pay seven and, you know, rampant growth and get another combat step. And a foil Wall of Shards. 1-8, uh, Defender Flying, Cumulative Upkeep, an opponent gains one life. This card is really, really cool if you do not care how much life your opponent has. 1-8, um, Defender Flying is for two mana. I mean, that just stops practically everything. I mean, the fact they could have a seven power thing getting dunked on by this is pretty insane. Let's keep going. I can't believe the weirdness. Some of the cards in this set. I've drafted enough over the recent years that I've seen a lot of these in draft now in core sets. Infantry Veteran, a classic. 1-1 one, one for 1, chips in for a damage or 2, and then starts making combat a tremendous pain in the butt. They usually put this effect on sorceries now, uh, not instants, because messing with combat math for new players is kind of nuts. Uh, Cartouche's Solidarity. The Cartouches were all really solid. All our Cartouche. Cool little subtype for Auras. For reasons that the trials would would bounce them. Well, fast Swingsmith. I really like this card. I have a soft spot. I have a 3D version of this card that I made. It's the only one I've ever done. And I got Dan Scott to sign mine at the Magic Fest. Um, I'll show you guys sometime. Thoughtcast, uh, otherwise known as Pay One Draw Two, um, <laughs> if you have artifacts. Vampire Champion. Here's a four mana three three Death Touch. This there's a Theros four mana three three Death Touch that mills you for two in the new Theros set. That's quite a bit stronger than this. We got. Animate dead. Whoa! From the, the this beastly art. Look at this. Uh, holy rules text, Batman. All of this basically to say, put this on a thing in a graveyard, and then you get to have it. And all these rules more or less just allow you to animate the thing with an aura on it, which normally you can't do. Um, and also, it randomly gets minus one, minus one. So that's a great find. Ingot Chewer. Destroy Tower Artifact with this evoke cost. Could not possibly be more efficient. Very, very strong card. Sun Crown Hunters. Here's the 5-4 that costs you uh, 3 damage to block it. Trade with as a 6-6. Six, six, 6 mana, though, is a, that's a lot of mana. Talons of Wildwood shows up in the enchantment-themed kind of anything. This was a kind of a key card in some of the green stompy decks that were in the Corset 2019. Getting it back from Graveyard, really good. Arachnus Web goes and gets... Um, Oh, yeah, it's basically pacifism, or not pacifism, the one that it also detains them, so arrest. The green arrest, um, but if they get big, they can destroy it. And there was that one spider that can tutor these up. I hope that's in this set. Ocarin Assassin. Oh, this card was pretty freaking annoying in uh, this Ravnica set. I think this was Guilds of Ravnica. Um, the, if you were the Golgari deck and you had one of these, it was solid. Um, this card was a huge pain in the butt. Um, especially if you can pump its power at all, then you're just then you're just plague winding your opponent. Foundry Inspector, classic. Now at this point, three mana, three two. Your stuff's cheaper. Uh, really good. We got Imp old frame Imperial armor. Very nice. Uh, pretty cheap way to get a lot of power and toughness if you drop it early in the game. Um, this card's constantly been pretty pretty fun to play with. Marin Crusader, double strike, pro black, pro green. This is a uh, this is a pretty strong magic card. Can't the amount of times I've stared this down and gone, yep, can't can't deal with this card is higher than I would like to admit. And a foil fungusaur. See three mana two four mana two two when it's dealt damage, put a plus one plus one counter on it. I feel like you really need to put some make this a little bit stronger before this thing starts to become a problem. Um, but yeah, chump blocking it otherwise not not super effective. We are five packs in. Swordsmith. Other soldiers get one plus one plus oh. They're all human soldiers now. <laughs> Forsake the worldly. Really, really flexible artifact and enchant removal. Exiles. Take care of all the pesky, you know, academy ruins nonsense. Three mana is, you know, not great, but cycling and instant, all really good upside. Chrono Stutter. Six mana to move something slightly. <laughs> it's kind of expensive. Phantasmal Bear, where else do you get a 1 mana 2-2 two, two in blue? Just, uh, you know, hopefully it doesn't get targeted by anything. Farbog Revenant, Skulk Lifelink. Skulk, probably could have done without Skulk. Hey, look, you have a 1 power thing, so it can only be blocked by 1 power things, which your opponents probably also have. 
Tarot Swindler, RNG, the game. Pay three, flip a coin. I can definitely see this being decent if you're doing coin flippy things, but they're almost always in other colors. So. Bloodstone Goblin. Sometimes you just needed a two-mana two-two in Dominaria. Uh, here you go. Earth Elemental. It's kind of a classic card. Just a five-mana five four-five. The bar has risen on five-mana cards since, since this was printed, but still fun. Sometimes you just need a big boy. Naturalize, which has since been power creep by Return to Nature, which will also exile a card from a graveyard in, in addition to either of these two modes. Every draft format needs it. Longshot Squad. I got to play with this in a recent cons draft we did there at work. Um, putting reach on your stuff can be pretty good when flyers were a good way to get around. So uh, this card was okay. Kiora's Follower. Untapping permanence. Uh, strong thing to be doing. Uh, this card has overperformed for me in Commander of all places, where untapping lands attack for more than one mana um, tends to get out of hand pretty quick. Uh, works on your big stupid artifacts too, your gilded lotuses, etc. So at its base, it's just a mana dork, and it can the ceiling's quite a bit higher than that. Rogue's Passage, everybody's favorite. Oh, I forgot you had that. I guess I lose Commander specifically. A little expensive to activate in other formats, but sometimes I wonder if this should be a reasonable utility spell land. I don't know what matchups is really good in, but. Hey, Con. I feel like this card's quite valuable. <laughs> this card's really weird. You'll notice that you can only cast it from your graveyard. Uh, yeah, this comes up as 13 bucks as an average search on uh, the, the list here. And I'm using MTG stocks because they just have a convenient price list here. This card's weird. You can do some cool Black Knight tribal stuff uh, in Commander with this sort of thing. Um, so you're looking at 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. Um, as long as it's in play, you may play night cards from your graveyard. So if you can get this thing out of your graveyard, all your night cards just being able to be played from your graveyard is actually pretty disgusting. So in Commander, it's a little bit difficult to get him there. You do have to put the work in. So really cool card. I'm, that, I'm a big fan here. And we got our second precursor column. We're just going to skip this. And we got a foil Zer's Weirding with this crazy... I don't remember this art. I remember must, uh, maybe it's, I remember some earlier art. Players play with their hands revealed. If a player would draw a card, he or she reveals it instead. Then any player may pay two life. If that player does, put that card into his owner's graveyard. Otherwise, that player draws the card. So you can replace anybody else's draw by just saying, I pay two life and you don't draw, and it goes to their graveyard instead. Um, if you have a lot of life, uh, other players just don't get to draw cards anymore. So this, I can see this being really, really good if you're doing some kind of Esper Oloro nonsense, but everyone will hate you for it, so careful about that. Six packs in. So far, notably, we have, uh, I would say, Hakon. Hakon? Mirren Crusader. Animate Dead was a really nice find. Temporal Mastery. Beastmaster Ascension. The value here is crazy. Uh, the fact that these are $4 packs, or, you know, $5 packs, really, for most people. Pretty insane. Um, Alley Evasion. So just kind of some return target creature you control its owner's hand is modal on this. That's pretty sick, actually. Cloud Shift needs no explanation. It's kind of been power creep by Ephemery at this point, but still really, really solid. Laboratory Brute, not to be confused with Lab Maniac. Four mana self mill four in front of three three. Seems like a pretty good role player. Counterspell from Masters 25. Gotta love the watermarks. Oh man. Yeah, this is a good one. Catacomb slugs at 2-6. Trespasser's Curse, fairly underplayed, stops token strategies. It's really fun when you give your opponent's creatures and drain them out. If you give them like a bunch of plant tokens with a dousing dagger and things like that, this can do some pretty funny stuff. Rivals Duel. Choose two target creature types that share, two target creatures that share no creature types. Those creatures fight each other? Weird. I feel like I should have heard of this card before. That's cool. So if you just have like a tribal thing, you could just like pick another creature type and your tribe will just wipe out their tribe. Whoa. Oh, they, oh it's not the whole tribe. It's target creatures. You can't. It's not all your creatures fighting all of their creatures. Okay. So as long as they're sharing no creature types and you have the bigger one, you're getting the removal. So that seems fine. Four mana is a lot, but... Desert Ceridon, Cycling, Living End, Best Friend, or Living... Yeah, Living End, the Suspend Living Death. Um, yeah, this card gets discarded a lot. <laughs> Seek the Wilds. Look at the top four. Reveal a creature or land card. Put it into your hand. Now for one mana, you get. Now for one more mana, you get both because we just green just gets divination now and new sets. But uh, everybody knows my little joke with that. Earth and arms. Put two counters on a permanent, and also you can make a four four. <laughs> so really nice card that scales into the later game. 
Martial Glory. This card was a freaking beating in, I believe it was Return to Ravnica that had the Bor. It was either Return to Ravnica or Gate Crash. You can't tell from what set it is because this is from the Boros uh, uh, Guild Kit, I think, <laughs> which just means this mark is really cool. Um, this thing was a beating. You could just get two for one. You could get three for one with this card fairly easily in combat if you were not careful. Um, you know, your 2-2 two -two eats their 2-2 two -two and your other 2-2 two -two eats their 3-3. Three -three. Oh, man, it was just... Are you too? It was. You could just do some crazy stuff with this. It really was not that hard to set up. Ether Hub, just a good, good little land. It's funny. This is the second energy card we've seen yet. What's cool about this one? This has the, the new, the new uh, symbol for colored mana or colorless mana. That's kind of cool. Chromatic Star. Uh, I remember when Tron was so scary. People are doing much dumber things now. Oof. Uh, cool card though, and we got. Chasm Skulker, that's a card. <laughs> that's one of my favorites. So it's a three mana, one one. Whenever you draw a card, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. So it's getting bigger every turn. And then when it dies, um, you get as many squid tokens as you had plus one, plus one counters. And they have Island Walk. So this is when they let people design their own magic cards in uh, Magic 2015. That was really cool. I hope they'll do that again sometime. And our foil is... Whoa! Puzzle Box? Holy crap! <laughs> Oh, I want to do this with Narset just one time, just to be a jerk. Uh, the beginning of each player's draw step, they take their hand, they put it on the bottom of their library, they draw that many cards, except if you have Narset, then they just get the one card, and then they don't get their actual draw step. So, yeah. Cool foil! Oh, I'll probably keep that one. That thing's amazing. And if I remember right, currently those are, those are a lot of money. Um, I'm not able to find it on this list because it doesn't list the foil prices. If I had to look up a foil prices really quick, uh, goldfish mystery booster foil prices. Oh man, goldfish doesn't have a proper searchable mystery booster list yet, and I really, really wish it did. Yeah, I can't find it right now. Eh, oh well, I'm gonna look later. I know that it's fairly valuable. Let's see what else we got. Just probably chuck these on the floor for now. I'll pick them up later. Lone Missionary. Uh, enters the battlefield. You gain four life. Um, this card's pretty good. It's a 2 1. Cast Out. Playing this in Pioneer right now. Fairly good. Cycling good. Windrake. It's a classic. You need a three mana 2 2 flyer. You got one. Mystic of the Hidden Way. Uh, can't be blocked. This card's a beast in that in cons format, man. You just play it as a 2 2 for three and you're happy with it. And occasionally you just get this morph and now that your opponent just. It's a cheap morph, and you have three mana unblockable. Like, they could just be losing and not even know it. Undercity Embrace. Uh, this card's bad. Don't play this card. It's cool that there's an edict, though. Quest for the Grave Lord. Here's a throwback. <laughs> three creatures die after you play it. Any creature, you get a 5-5 five five for one mana. Like it. Crown Hunter Hireling. You become the Monarch. Can't attack unless the defending player is the Monarch. Nido. Dragon Breath. Chant creature. Creature gets haste. Grand creature gets plus one, plus one, plus one to turn. This is cool. So, this whole cycle of dragon, whatever it is. If a creature with CMC 6 or greater enters the battlefield, you may return dragon breath from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to that creature. And they get haste and fire breathing. Neato. E-Witness, baby! Gotta love that new art from uh, Masters, Ultimate Masters. Uh, three mana, two one, get a card back from graveyard to your hand. Usually you're blinking this thing and going off. Bitterbow Sharpshooters. <laughs> Five, four, five mana, four for Vigilance Reach. This card's a house. Claim to Fame. I've been killed by this card before. Turn card creature with CMC two or less for Gravity to the Battlefield. And the Aftermath on it gives plus two, plus one haste. This card's sweet. Uh, one, one Changelings. This was in Modern Masters. Font of Mythos. Uh, I uh, used to play a Rune Flare Trap deck in Standard when Howling Mine and Font of Mythos were legal in the same set. And you'd get to turn five, and you'd cast Time Warps and Twin Casts and Time Warps and Twin Casts and take as many extra turns as possible, and then your opponent would untap, and you would Rune Flare Trap them, and they would and Twin Cast your Rune Flare Trap or cast multiple Rune Flare Traps, and you would just kill them on the spot. And usually you had Counter Backup. Uh, Spell Pierce was also legal. Uh, this card's sweet. Um, I'm not going to play... I'm not usually wanting my opponents to draw a lot of cards, but it's cool that I have the option. <laughs> this card's like 50 bucks. <laughs> 
So, the Heart of the Wild Mythic Conspiracy Take the Ground average $58.90. We are doing pretty good. Uh, this card is the probably the easiest, gotta be top two or three easiest ways to go infinite in green. Um, and even if not going infinite, so you just, you just, you, whenever another creature enters battlefield, its controller may draw a card if its power is greater than each other creature's power. Presumably, you have all the big creatures, so you draw cards. And then you can pay a green and tap this. As long as you have a like a four mana creature and you can pay a few mana to untap it, or you have a four power creature, you can just sit here and do this infinitely and, and usually win the game from there. Um, staff of Domination type stuff. Um, yeah, this card's disgusting. Um, I'm glad that people don't play this as a commander very often because it really is just an I win button in the command zone if you have untap effects that cost mana. Uh, super sweet pull. Really happy about that. And Foil Nor and the Wary. <laughs> I'm actually convinced that their commander decks built around this card are straight up busted. Um, with all the things that can happen, triggers, entering, leaving the battlefield, impact tremor type stuff. Um, this is a solid foil. So yeah, uh, value-wise, <laughs> we're getting there, guys. <laughs> we still got more than half a box to go through. Um, I'm going to open one more pack, and then I have battery issues with my phone. I'm going to have to put it on a charger and then still find a way to record this. So one more pack gonna be hard to top Selva. It's got to be one of the top two or three most valuable cards in the whole set. It has to be. Um, I'm sure there's Mana Crypt is the top. Good old level up. Caravan Escort. Yeah, if I just sort by market, if I sort by market value, Selva is the third most valuable card. Bloom Tender. Just, of it, just over that. Uh, level up is sweet. I, I love level up. I hope we get more things like level up. Um, I think that they could balance this so that it worked at instant speed. If the lev the leveling up wasn't quite as good, I guess. Um, leveling it, the reason you can't level at instant speed was I think it just made the game too complicated um, for players that were like, "Oh, cool, I get to level up my guys in draft." Um, but I love to see them thinking outside the box and doing stuff like that. Sacred Cat, I've cast a few a fair number of these. Uh, and Soul Artifacts this card's pretty sweet and pioneer right now. Uh, the deck is fairly well positioned. Um, not amazing, but pretty good. Um, you just five five scissors. It's just kind of an iconic card. Really sweet that it's in this. It's like a couple of bucks too. Uh, Vigian Graph Mage, Vigian, Vigian, Vidalkin Wizard Mutant. It's got Graft. Graft was one of the first keywords in Magic I was introduced to because I started playing, and my friend had these cards. Um, I'm gonna tap a creature with a plus one plus one counter on it, and when it, creatures enter the battlefield, this guy comes in as a two two. He can he can fob off counters onto those creatures. Um, and untapping could be really good. Uh, here's a two mana two two, and you can exile from your graveyard to get another to get a zombie. Uh, I like value. You guys like value? I like value. Card sweet. Uh, here's a three mana three one one. It dies. Your opponent discards a card. That's pretty solid. Um, if you can get your opponent to trade with this, and uh, I mean this card just seems good to me in any kind of aggressive black draft deck. G2 Lava Runner has made its presence known in standard. It's one of the reasons uh, Dominaria is well remembered. They had a really nice wizard theme. The the wizard deck was was pretty sick. Um, if you could get into it and you were the only one, then Adelies would just dunk on people, and this was a key a key card. Even as a one drop, it's pretty good. Avarax feels like it should be legendary. It's just called Avarax. Uh, enters the battlefield, search your library for a card named Avarax. Reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Uh, it's a five, five mana, three three haste, and fire breathing, and Every time you play it, you get another one. So it's a little bit like Growth Chamber Guardian, but bad. <laughs> so, I mean, red card advantage. I could see some deck wanting that. Six mana, five, six. Crawl Worm has, you know, it's been a long time since we've had six mana, six, four. So now we get five sixes in this set. Oof. Bailoth Gorger. After Vassal Gorger. Check that out. We're doing gorge. We're gorging. Um, four. It's got a kicker. Uh, for four, it's either a four mana four four or a four, seven mana seven seven. Um, this card turned out to in the later stages of Dominaria draft, people were sort of underwhelmed with. Yeah, it's a seven seven, but the board state gets so grindy, and there's enough death touch that you just can't get through most of the time. Um, so being a seven seven was fine, but you really had to like give it first strike or something to really make it hard to deal with. Untap all creatures you control. They get hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Yeah, let me just hang on to that five mana and hope someone plays Wrath of God, I guess. Um, I didn't like this card in the draft format that was in, and I don't like it now. Diamond Mare. People are always going to play this. People like to gain life. Um, two mana, one, three. It's a good defensive card, especially if you're heavy into, like, one color. Um, that can be good. 
Sadistic Hypnotist. Oh, Nath the Guilt Leaf was the first combo I knew of with this. Sack a creature, target player discards two cards. Nath the Guilt of the Guilt Leaf will then make two one ones, which you can then sack to make them discard four cards, and your opponents will just have no cards in hand after that. Um, yeah, this card's uh, really good for a five mana two two. Uh, if you have some one ones lying around, your opponent's hand is just going to get decimated. Um, they'll be playing off the top of their deck really fast. Cool card. Mind Shatter. X black black. Target player discards X cards at random. <laughs> this card's pretty solid. Um, I prefer to just get their whole hand these days, but random discard. <laughs> a lot of times it just tags what you need to, needed to tag. Uh, this is pretty sweet. Um, you just have to have the mana to do it now. And then we got a foil rescue from the underworld. Um... This is a flavor, absolute one of the biggest flavor wins they've ever done in a magic card. So you sack a creature when you cast it. Then you choose a target creature card in your graveyard. Um, you get that card back at the next uh, under your control at the beginning of your next end step. And you also get back the sacrifice card. So it like went to go save the thing. So that's pretty amazing. Um, the flavor on this was just disgusting. I was kind of wouldn't be wouldn't have been surprised to see this as a reprint in Theros Beyond Death, but I would have maybe had to explain who was rescuing Elspeth or whatever, and I can see why maybe it was an issue. So, all right, that's nine packs. We still have a lot to go. I need to put a battery, uh, some sort of power considerations here before I keep going. So stay tuned. Uh, we're back for the other other fifteen packs. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to mess with my setup here. If you could see it, it is as janky as you can imagine. My phone is on a phone stand on a cereal bowl. I have a cable kind of underneath my left arm. It is all bad. There's nothing good about this except the ridiculous value in these packs. So let's keep going. Still time for Mana Crib, baby. Caught in the brights. This card's funny. When a vehicle you control attacks, exile a chanted creature. <laughs> See you later, Gremlin. <laughs> Fencing Ace, 1-1 one, one Double Strikes. This is a card they seem to put in a lot of these reprint sets because um, everybody wants to turn this into a Voltron and just wreck the other guy. Turn aside. Counterspell that targets a permanent you control. A little narrow, but a lot of times, really good. Snapping Drake. Three, four mana, 3-2 Flyer. We call we call Wind Drakes and Snapping Drakes what they are in draft now for a reason. Dark Dabbling. Uh, three mana, Regenerative Creature, Draw a Card. Um, you generate two things if you have Spell Mastery, which is actually my eBay store name, Spell Mastery Gaming. I love Spell Mastery. Um, Mind Rot, discard two cards, uh, sideboard this in limited against your control opponents, and kill them with your two twos and three threes. Incorrigible Youth, haste, five mana, four three haste with madness three. If you can uh, get this for three mana, your opponent is dying. <laughs> Voldaren Duelist, 4 mana 3 2. When it enters the battlefield, you falter something. It can't block this turn. 4 mana 3 2 haste. It's a little expensive, but tapping down a thing can push through a, could push through a bunch of damage if you're in the right spot. Stoic Builder. When it enters the battlefield, we return target land card from your graveyard to your hand. So if you're doing fetchy thingies, pretty solid. Look at this. What are all three of these from the same set? What are we doing? Did we get the vampire, the vampire pack? Let's keep going. Combo, co 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 combo. Um, target cre two creatures your team controls deals damage to their power to target creatures. So you team up. Now I do want to say one thing. This art is simultaneously great and terrible. Look at it. It looks like like kind of some weird like Mortal Kombat two an animation thing. She even looks a little bit like like uh, the guy with the arms, Goro, with the hair and the. This one's just like smiling, like yeah, look at my look at my picture. I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't I don't understand the art on this at all. I mean, <laughs> I guess they're like Azra warriors probably, and this is what they do. But boy, they uh they sure are posing for their family picture. <laughs> <laughs> Wrath Compassion Shifts Mage, one of my favorite commander decks. Um, I was playing more Drago. If I did it again, I would definitely be on the legend heavy side. Um, and I mean more legend heavy than I was before. Uh, I still reserve the right to do that. Mirror Retriever, this card, when it dies, get another artifact from a graveyard to your hand. It's a 1 1. Wow, how will your 1 1 ever die? Um, this card's good. Um, not the least reason of which is two of them can cycle with each other to give you infinite chump blockers. Um, that's a cool trick. Um, and 
and let's see what we got. We got timely reinforcements. <laughs> I've dunked on a lot of red decks with this and all the blue white I've played in uh, in modern. Sometimes it wasn't enough, but it taught me a lot about when this. Make sure you look when your sideboard cards are good and when they're not. And uh, this card just auto wins in certain matchups. It's just almost can't be beat if you can cast it more than once. And then we got a Mycoloth, 5 mana, 4-4, four, four, Devour 2. You eat things when it comes into play. It gets two counters for each thing you eat. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one green sapling token for each counter on Mycoloth. So this thing, you put three counters on it, or four counters on it, you eat two things, right? It comes in as an 8-8. Eight, eight. And then you make two, then you would make what? Um, four one ones if you get to untap with it. So this is like one of those cards that you just absolutely have to kill. It is a bit of a blowout when it dies, but treasonous ogre. It's a four mana two three dethrone, uh, but nobody plays it for that. People play it to turn life into mana. Um, even at this terrible exchange rate, um, it's usually this card can get nuts pretty quick. And why is my focus so bad? There we go. Uh, cool foil. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Whoop. Ghostblade Eidolon. Three mana, one, one, double strike. Bestow gives a thing plus one, plus one, and double strike. I don't love Bestow. I feel like that, and partially is my, my own preferences for limited, is I really like to have removal to control my opponent's threats in, in a mana efficient way. And when they just get to keep, they put a big R on a thing like this, and then you kill it, and then they get to keep a creature that it's over. I mean, a one, one, double strike's not a huge deal, but... Um, if we believe some of the leaks that came out from Ikoria, um, where you may be able to do this over and over again, um, this could get pretty gross. So I don't love Bestow. I like what they were trying to do, but it doesn't play out as well as I would hope. It's just whoever has the bigger creature tends to win. Path of Peace. Classic. Destroy a target creature. Donor gains four life. Four mana. Target creature. Uh, a lot of times you don't care if your opponent gains four life. <laughs> Mnemonic Wall. Um, for a while, just until we got our four mana Archaeomancer, this was kind of a gold, you know, this replaced, there was this and is a Chronarch that were five mana creatures that would, uh, get Sorcerer's Rock from your graveyard or Instance back from your graveyard. The 0-4 stat lines are usually a little bit better than a 2-2, um, for that type of effect. Uh, I've drafted this card a lot. I really, really like it. Oh, skip one. Horseshoe Crab! Best known in Masters 25 for Stick pre Presence of Gone. The one that lets you make a 1-1 one -one when you tap a thing, and then you would just be like, meh, 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 and make a million 1-1s. One -one and... Touch a Moonglove. Creature gets Death Touch, plus one, plus so. And then you drain them for two if they die, I guess. Eh, it seems all right. Uh, if you're aggressive, I don't know. You have your little thing trade up with a bigger thing, I guess. One man is... The, the price is right. Here's a four mana Mine Rot that Scry 2. Um, questionable. Not the greatest. Um, but Scry 2 is almost like drawing a card. So if you think of it that way, the exchange rate's actually pretty good. Bombard, 4 damage target creature, is a 3 mana instant. Uh, this card was a big deal in uh, the set that it was from. Uh, some sort of excellent block. Maybe maybe just excellent. Um, this is from the... Check out this expansion symbol. This is from the Game Knights <laughs> deck, I think. Super cool. Thresher Lizard. 3 mana, 3, 2, which is a 4, 4, as long as you have one or fewer cards in hand. Land or Elves. Card that destroyed standard. No, it didn't destroy standard. A lot of people at Sace of Harry did that. But this <laughs> this card completely dominated standard. Every green deck was a Land or Elf deck. Uh, it turns out having 3 mana on turn 2 is really, really good. <laughs> so this card will be played forever. Broken Bond, a little underplayed in Commander these days. It is really nice to kill a thing and then play one of your spare lands. Uh, sorcery Speed, not the greatest. Um, the story that this card tells is pretty cool. This is Nissa saying on Dominaria, who's seeing it not go the way she wants. And she's uh, just like, nah, I'm out. I'm, I'm done. These Leyline Pattern on the ground was in the Leyline Pattern, I think, that they used to dunk on the Eldrazi on Zendikar for the second go-around. Um... So I don't know if she left Dominari or if she never went. I think maybe she never went. Um, she's sticking around and fixing her own plane. So maybe we'll see Nissa again someday. we got to figure out what she's doing with Chandra. Ah, Rocks Worm Monk. Four, three mana, three, four lifelink. What a freaking house, man. Oh, what a house. I never got to draft this Alara Block format. I wish that I could have. I really do. Um, it looks like fun. We got... Fairy Conclave. And there's the Battlefield Taps. 
tap to add blue, pay one and a blue, and make a 2-1 flyer. This is a cool little budget uh, creature land. If For a long time, if you wanted to play budget modern uh, blue-white control and you couldn't afford your uh, celestial colonnades, you could actually just get away with these sometimes. Kruvix, God of Horizons. Your stock is interesting these days, seeing as how there's a v readily available, uh, what you call it, uh, the Constellation Secret Lair. But really cool. I just sold one of these, so it's kind of cool to get one back. Um, four mana, or five mana, four, seven. It's indestructible. It's an enchantment. It's a creature if you have devotion for green and blue is seven total. Two of it counts itself. Uh, you have no max, max hand size, and you just get to save all of your mana. So at the end of your turn, you have unused mana. Yeah, I'll just tap that. Uh, you got a Seaborn Muse. You untap your land, uh, tap some stuff. Oh, it's great. It's great. It's great. All is dust. Beastly card. Each player sacks all colored permanents he or she controls. <laughs> get dunked on. Uh, I've died to this card. Uh, John has killed me with this in Eldrazi Tron a bunch of times. Um, I'm not the only one. To tr uh, this card's freaking sweet. This card is some of my favorite flavor text in all of Magic. Um, the Eldrazi, currently, killing stuff. The emergence of the Eldrazi isn't necessarily a bad thing, as long as you've already lived a filling and complete life without regrets. <laughs> and as you probably saw, because I let it slip back there, we got Morrow. Uh This is a four mana, XX. X is the number, or star star, the number of cards in your hand. This card's only foily because everyone calls Mark Rodgers or Morrow, and I assume that that's supposed to be his face or something. And uh, I don't know the whole deal behind this card. I just, I can only assume that it specifically means Mark Rosewater. So, cool card. We are on pack 12. Ooh. Artful Maneuver. Plus two boosters on turn to rebound. That's some value, baby. Um, Seraph of the Sun. Six mana, four for flying indestructible at uncommon and actually was only kind of good because that set had a lot of minus one minus one counters and exiling removal so uh this card was only okay believe it or not as a, as a limited card otherwise pretty beastly there were some decks that would have a problem with this invisibility blue blue chant creature can't be blocked except by walls playable aqueous forms a little better retraction helix um, all I know about this card is I think it's some sort of infinite combo piece with Jeskai Ascendancy where you tap things and return permanence and use it to just kind of go off and replay your mana dorks over and over again to draw your deck and it gets it gets bad for your opponents. So, cool card. Cobb Waltz. I enjoyed this a lot in a core set recently. Uh, getting two creatures card back and discarding card. Discard a land, get two things back. This card was bananas if you held it long enough till it was good. Gary! You're back! The new Gary has such sweet art, but we cannot forget old school Gary even with his mask on and his pack, draining you of all your life because this card was printed at common. <laughs> this looks like some sort of commander printing. Cool card. Seismic Shift, kill a land. Two creatures can't block this turn. Um, I have died to this card. <laughs> it's happened. Uh, here's a 4-mana 3-2 Enthralling Victor. When it enters the battlefield, gain control target creature and opponent controls power 2 or less till end of turn. Untap that creature, it gains haste. So it'll threaten their stuff. And a 4-mana 3-2 is a decent-sized body. 2-mana 1-3 draw card. This was awesome in those kind of 5-color do-as-many-nonsense-things-as-possible decks in uh, that draft format. Uh, this card's sweet. I love 2-mana one, 1-3 one, set draw cards when they block stuff. Charging Rhino. 5-mana 4-4. Four, four. Can't be double-blocked. Gotta like it. Gotta like it drafting that. Gift of Orzava. You know, boss. This card art is so gross. I absolutely love it. Chick looking down. Got the wings. Chant creatures plus one, plus one has flying and lifelink. Uh, this card I've also died to. If you don't have removal for their flyer, sorry, can't race it. If you can't block it, you can't kill it, you lose. Sweet card. Blossom Exams. Just a tap land against you in life. We got Assemble the Legion. It's a five mana do nothing. Uh, but next turn, you get a 1 1. The next turn, you get two 1 1s with haste. The next turn, you get three 1 1s with haste. The next turn, you get four 1 1s with haste. Um, so it pays for itself after three turns of being alive, and then after four or five turns, it's all upside. So if you can make the game last a really long time and somehow not lose this, uh, pretty gross. Personally, I think it's a little overrated, even in Commander. It's just too slow. Woo! <laughs> Queen Marchessa, I just, I just bought one of these. I've been playing this Commander for three weeks. <laughs> it was like 20 bucks. Uh, I absolutely freaking love this card. So four mana, three, three, death, touch, haste. You become the Monarch. So you start drawing cards immediately. And then if your opponent ever takes the monarchy from you uh, and you untap the Marchessa, you get a hasty black assassin creature token. 
uh, with which to get the monarchy back. So this card flavor is just off the charts. Great colors, combinations. You do not need blue or green to play a controlling deck. You do not need blue or green to ramp or to, I mean, it would be nice. But this card's amazing. Really, really happy to kind of open one of these and just have one. And then Foil Lapse of Certainty, the white counter spell that some, wait, some people know about. Counter target spell. Um, if it's countered this way, it goes on top of their library. Device is too hot. Can't be that hot. Nah, I think my video quality is fine. <laughs> cool foil. Um, would you believe we are um, halfway through this box? <laughs> uh, I'm going to check my battery real quick before we continue going here. 10%. It's actually going up, so that's good. So it means we're not going to get cut off here. Provided my phone doesn't shut down from being overheated. We'll risk it. Queen Marchessa, by the way, I bought mine for like 20 bucks, and it was good. I thought it was close to that, and it was a good deal. Uh, Dantha, Compassion, Paragon. Freaking love this card. Look, it's Keyword Soup. First Strike, Vigilance, Lifelink. Almost impossible to block this on, on Curve and Limited. And um, gives you discounted or any equipment spells. Uh, super cool card. Love Dominar. Promise of Munray. Who doesn't love 411 Colorless Spirit Tokens for three men? All you need to do is kill one of your own things by blocking or whatever. Uh, this card's great. Uh, Aristocrats, Staple. Um... Love the art on this. This dude getting dunked on by his own sword, but his four spirits come out. Like, if you look at it, it's pretty gross. Curio Vendor, two mana, two, one. Blue, very bad. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Somber Hover Guard, here's a affinity for artifacts, artifacts uh, and flying. If you have two artifacts, you have Snapping Drake. Um, any less, you get a really good deal on a Snapping Drake. Weight of the Underworld, four mana. Chait Creature gets minus three, minus two. This will shut a thing down most of the time. Also, cool art. Queen's Agent, six mana, three three life link explores. A little, little overpriced, but we do like explore. Two mana, two two haste. Taxi's turn of evil. This card was a nightmare when your opponent is playing tap lands, and you have this on turn two. Hijack, take a creature or artifact till end of turn. On tap it, gains haste till end of turn. Uh, Angrath doing the hijacking, classic. Shape the sands. Creature gets plus plus five in reach. Um, eh, I don't like these tricks very much, but. I do like that one mana is one mana. And then we got Ember Weaver. Uh, if you have a red permanent, this instead of being a 2-3 reach, is a 3-3 three, three reach first strike, which basically says you shall not pass. Um, and then we got Kiss of the Amisha. Target player gains 7 life and draws 2 cards. So if you say it backwards, it's kind of better. Draw 2 cards, gain 7, but 6 mana is a lot. So yeah, I don't know. I don't like this card that much. Alchemist Vial. Two mana, draw a card. You can sack it to make a creature can attack or block. The cre when you want this type of falter effect, usually you don't want two mana cyclers. So, not a great card, but fun to look at, I guess. Karen Wanderer, Changeling. As long as a creature card with flying is in your graveyard, it gets flying. The same is true of Fear, First Strike, Death, Double Strike, Death Touch, Haste, Landwalk, Lifelink, Protection, Reach, Trample, Shroud, and Vigilance, <gasps> but not Hexproof or Skulk. Hey! <laughs> this card's super cool. Um, Lorwyn's great. Uh, another Mirror and Crusader. That's our second one of those. And... <laughs> what? <laughs> Foil Intruder Alarm. That sounds... That seems cheap. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Intruder Alarm. Creatures don't untap during their untap steps. Uh, whenever a creature comes into play, untap all creatures. So if you have a creature that taps to create a creature, you now have infinite of those creatures. <laughs> Uh, so this card goes infinite very easily, um, in most other formats. Wow, what a beast. Is that, like, a little, it's like a little dot, printing dot up there. That kind of sucks. That's gonna cost me money to get rid of. Look at that. You can see that's the foil right there. Well, that's unfortunate. Still, yo, this art is beast. Can we talk about this? Wow. These are like, they were, they were sneaking in, but they got found. So it's like, wah, wah, wah. One footstep among many is silent. One footstep alone is deafening. Wow. Foil Intruder Alarm. Selvla. So, like, we've we've had some big hits so far. We have Marchesa, Foil Intruder Alarm. I don't know. All of Dust seems like it should be expensive. Um, here's your Selvla. Foil Teferi's Puzzle Box. Temporal Mastery. Animate Dead. Um, 
Yeah, we didn't start off too strong. Bloodbraid Elf, Foil Undead War Tree, Foil Conspiracy. We have we have hit some freaking winners here. We are easily, easily well over the cost of the box at this point. I feel like that Intruder Alarm is going to be one of the few foils from this set that retains a lot of its value, too. Um, just because it's just Commander. There's so many scumbags out there playing it to go infinite. Wow, you're kicking butt! Center Soul. Target creature you control is protection with color choice. Rebound. Eh, it's all right. Get your creature through for damage twice a lot of times. Midnight Guard, basically a vigilancy thingy. Three mana, two, three. Mind Sculpt. Target player mill seven for two. Uh, it's definitely not Tome Scour, and it's definitely not Glimpsy and Thinkable, but cool. Augur Bolus. I love this card. Two mana, one, three. Look at the top three. Reveal an instant or sorcery. Put it in your hand. This card, when it whiffs, though, I feel like I want to punch myself in the temple. Um, really am a big fan of this, though. Merciless Resolve. Three mana. Sack a creature or land, draw two cards. Eh. I don't know what you're sacking. Hopefully it's good. Or hopefully it's good, good dead. Eye Blood Sending, destroy target non-elf. Before we had some of the good two-mana removal that we have in Commander these days, this card was actually considered premium because this is just three-mana killed almost anything. Because we had, like, Terror and Doomblade, and now we have stupid stuff. You know, we have, we have like, Dismember. We have, like, um, gosh, in, in black alone, we have Gover the Throat, something we got since this, um, which is two-mana instant. You know, destroy target non-artifact creature. Goblin Bombardment. Whoa, check out that beastly art. Woo! Oh, I love me some Goblin Bombardment. Now I got another one, and I don't even think this is a cheap card. Uh, Goblin Bombardment. Oh, yeah, market price on a Tempest Goblin Bombardment is 7 bucks. <laughs> Yeehaw! That's a winner. Mog War Marshal. I have died to this card before. One of my previous friends in Magic used to play a lot of Goblins. Penumbra Spider, four mana, two four reach. When it dies, get a two four spider token with reach. <laughs> this card's pretty good. <laughs> pretty hard to get past without a four power flyer. Cost of Caterpillar. It's a one mana one one that has naturalized staple to it. Not not the worst. Zerta Druid. This is currently in my Nimbus deck as the worst worst gruel card, <laughs> but it's still in there. And I used to love having this card to play four mana cards in draft and also be dinging your point every turn. Uh, in the guild format, uh, Return to Ravnica, Gate Crash was probably, this This was pretty good. Pretty good. Loxodon Warhammer. This card was really sweet until we got Shadow Spear, and now I think I would almost always play Shadow Spear instead of this card. The equip cost is very high. This is very high, and the utility from Shadow Spear, plus the extra one toughness, tends to be relevant a lot more than the extra two power on Warhammer, so... Eh, it's a card. Hurricane. X damage. Each creature without flying in each player is a sorcery. Meh. I feel like... Isn't Squall line just this, but like an instant or something? I feel like... Oh, well. Kind of whiffed on that one. And second copy of Temporal Mastery. <laughs> We're just going to have turns now. What? Foil Lantern of Insight? Oh, is it time? Uh, there's no format where this is really good now, unfortunately. It's very fringe and modern. Not, not really a commander card. Um... Oh, man, that's sweet, though. That can't be really cheap, either. That's got to be fairly expensive. Wow, we are... These spoils are crazy. I feel like the prices are going to drop very hard on a bunch of them, but there's definitely going to be some that stay stay up there because of the demand. Conviction. There's an aura you can replay a bunch of times if you have enchantresses. That's cool. Three mana through on flyer. Uh, dies to everything, but hits for three every turn. Got to like that. Jeskai Sage, 2 mana, 1-1 one, one prowess. When it dies, draw a card. Solid. That 1-3 that draws a card, really good too. But this, the idea that you can attack with this, pump it to a 2-2, two, two, and then if they trade, you you win off the trade, uh, is really good. Uh, I like Jeskai a lot. Court Hussar. Uh, secretly, this is actually a blue and white card because you're going to sacrifice this um, if you don't pay white. Uh, it's got Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, you look at the top three, put one in your hand. Yeehaw! Uh, this card's insane if you're in blue-white and you're drafting. It's just gross. Um, I cannot wait to draft this set. Fetid Imp. One, two mana, one, two flying. Can gain death touch. Seems decent. So we got Trial of Ambition. Hey! When enters the battlefield, target opponent sacks a creature. If a cartouche enters the battlefield control, you can return Trial of Ambition to its owner's hand. Um... If you get to replay this type of thing, it is gross. So, and the cartouches were good on their own. Cool card. Five mana, four, four, trample. Madness, three. Woo! Oh, boy. Discarding that seems good. Fling! 
Hey, this is getting played in Team Adventures in Standard right now. Never flinch, never falter, never fear, as this dude is throwing this guy. Mulch. Oh, this card's amazing. Uh, you draw all the lands in the top four cards of your library, and the rest of the creatures go in the graveyard. So if you want to draw lands, uh, this is your card. It's like the blue treasure hunt. Uh, harmonize. Draw some cards. Of the Commander Podcast, Commander Cookout Podcast guys, just say, eh, just, you know, this card's kind of boring. <laughs> not a not a huge fan of just draw three in Commander, but if you're like mono green, you just saw the card draw, like, I get it. You don't fault people for playing it. It'd just be cool if it was something more exciting than, eh, draw three. So it's there. Eros's champs champion. Three mana, two, two, double strike. Uh, you pump this card at all, your opponent is super dead. Millstone. Target player puts the top two cards of the library into their graveyard. Uh, this is really fun if you're drafting this card in like a core set to just bring it in against control decks and mill them out while they're sitting there trying to kill your creatures that you're playing. And you actually really put a reasonable clock on them. Um, this card's good. Uh, it's a classic. It's a classic. And we got Chatter of the Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the joke here is three mana gets you two squirrels <laughs> these old frames are sick <laughs> leave it to wizards to get me on a squirrel card and then we got our sliver high floor <laughs> the value in the set is insane jeez sliver creatures you can all have indestructible um if i was playing against sliver this would highly highly be on the list of slurs i would not want to see um <laughs> Yeah, and foil Balduvian Rage. Target attacking creature gets plus X plus a turn, draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Uh, this card's probably only not very good. I like that it draws you a card. Um, that's sweet. It's cool art. The guy's like face is like kind of pronounced in the foil. The neato. We have nine packs to go. <laughs> We got Dragon's Eye Sentry. Defender first strike. 1 3. That's annoying. Get past. If you have 1 1s. Shoulder to shoulder. Support true draw card. For 3 mana. You'll take it. Anticipate. Instant speed. Look at the top 3. Get one. Card sweet. Bastion Inventor. 6 mana. 4 4. Improvise. Hexproof. Uh, I don't know why you need Hexproof on a 4 4, but I guess I can see it being a problem. Murderous Compulsion. Destroy target tap creature. For two mana. It has madness for two. Ooh, man. Discarding this, the value. Woo! Skeletal Scrying. Uh, as additional cost, exile X cards from your graveyard. Draw X cards, lose X life. Uh, this card has drawn a lot of cards for me in some commander decks. Super sweet. Uh, cast Dissident Mage and cast it from your graveyard. Um, pretty sweet. Spark Mage Apprentice. Two mana, one, one pings a thing. Pretty cool. Flame Wave Invoker. These invokers are sweet. So pay eight mana to dunk on somebody. So if you run out of cards, it's pretty nice to have eight mana lying around. Five mana, four, five. Wolves. This size pretty well in that core set 2019. Excuse me. Overgrown Battlement. It's walls, baby, walls. This makes a ton of mana really fast if you're doing wall things. Um, I think it's probably like the single biggest reason that you want to consider any kind of wall tribal is the access to the amount of mana you have with Overgrown Battlement. is pretty gross. And sometimes it attacks you as a 4-4 in those decks, which is crazy. So, Shardless Agent, 3-mana, 2-2 two, two Cascade. Woo-hoo! Fire. Who doesn't like this card? <laughs> Big fan. Big fan of this. I doubt that it's pretty cheap either. Wirewood Lodge. Isn't this expensive? Am I imagining that? Or maybe it's the one that's, that's a lot of money, not this one. It's the uh, Guilt Leaf Palace. This was this was in that dual deck. It can't be that much money. Yeah, four bucks. So yeah, untapped target elf for green. Uh, if your elves are tapping for more than one green, this card just makes you mana. So pretty gross. Unfortunately, you can't cast land or else off it. So you do have to balance your mana base a little bit here. No spine dragon enters the battlefield. You may discard your hand and draw cards equal to the damage dealt to target opponent this turn. This is really sweet in those Torbran um, Neheb decks that are like doing big stupid things with big mana and dealing a lot of damage. Um, not an expensive card, but cool all the same. And Basilisk Collar, Death Touch and Lifeling. Uh, this card's sick. Uh, needs no introduction. You put it on a pinger in standard with Cunning Spark Mage and it would shoot down all your opponent's things. Um, so yeah, big fan of Collar. 
Foil Owl Source Rider. Hey, this card seems cheap. <laughs> uh, you may remove two green cards in your game. Uh, this card commonly played in modern to exile two green cards, play it on turn one, and then generate some mana and neoform it, I believe. That's what you're supposed to do. I forget how you get neoform mana on turn one, but you basically turn it into Gristlebrand because this costs seven. You go get a Gristlebrand out of your deck, and uh, you win. So... Foil Owl Source Rider. Pretty neat. We are down to eight packs now, if my math is correct. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm sorry. Okay, let's keep going. Here. More. Angel Song. Matt Werner, this one's for you. <laughs> Fog and Cycling. Oh, more Cycling. Gain six life and Cycling. This deck will never die. I love the art on this one, by the way. Yeah, look at that stained glass. Steve Argyle, not joking around. Uh, counter and loot for four mana. Failed inspection. Oh, who put that gear in there? What's wrong with that person? Bad. Steady progress. Proliferate, draw a card. I died in proliferate, commander, commander the other day. A mono red deck proliferated my last poison counter. <laughs> it was pretty hilarious. Flash to dust, destroy target creature, can be generated for five mana instant. That's what that goes for in limited in that time. Spreading rot, destroy target land, and control is to life. Man. Right. Oh, act on impulse. This was our precursor to light up the stage, ignite into memory, whatever the name of that new one is. Um, Commune with lava is another one where red gets to exile cards. And this one says until the end of turn you may play those cards. So this card was really good if you had like five, six mana. And that was only okay. So letting them stick around to the end of your next turn has been great. Um, also, goggles. It is cool to see goggles. Rummaging Goblin, where we now have Rummaging. Red can now discard a card and then draw a card. But if you you have to have a card to discard or it doesn't work. Uh, Kentry Warden. Cute. One mana, one, one. You can morph it. Um, so you either play it as a 1-1 one, one, or you play it as a 2-2 two, two, and then you can flip it and then regenerate like crazy if you want. Epic Confrontation. Um, this dude is punching a dinosaur or whatever this is. Beast of some kind. This art is fantastic. Hammer Dropper, for some reason, in this set. 5-2 Mentor. I guess they just wanted Mentor in there. It's a giant soldier with beautiful curly hair. And then Mistress Factory, because everyone likes assembly workers. And then we got Doomgate. Seven mana, ten, ten, trample. Beginning of your upkeep, sack a creature. You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. You can sack Doomgate if you have to. Usually means you losing a ten, ten, though. Generally not the best. Uh, cool card, though. Gains you life, sack some stuff. We'll put that over here. Stun double. Flash clones. Uh, this card's amazing. I love cloning people's stuff and then blocking with it or getting the end of battle effect. Uh, big commander thing. Fun to do. Foil Council Guardian, Will of the Council, six mana. And there's the battlefield. Starting with you, each player votes for blue, black, red, or green. It gains protection from each color with the most votes or tied with the most votes. Multiplayer card. I do love music conspiracy. I'm doing a box opening video, Joe. I hear ya. Come on out. We're getting there. Woo! Uh, another one. Enduring Victory, Destroy Attacking or Blocking Creature, Bolster One. Yeehaw! Swords to Plowshares! Yee! That needs no introduction. This card's beast. You want, you want something gone? Uh, this makes it go bye bye I'm gonna mute my computer right now. How do I do this? I need two hands. There we go. Frilled Sea Serpent. Sometimes you just need a six mana, four six that can get in for when you pay seven. Kind of a bad win condition, but I've seen worse. Forbidden Alchemy, milling stuff, flashback and stuff. Yeehaw! I like this card. Stallion, Delirium. Hold on, something under that. There's four more card type. Okay, so it's a four mana, three, three Delirium that can. is basically a shade. I can see this being a real problem if you have Delirium. Your opponent's in trouble. Innocent Blood. Just play your sex creature. This card's a classic. One mana. If you have nothing or you lose a 1-1 one, one, and they lose, they only have a big thing, deal with that. Boop. Oh, Josh Pinella, where are you? Hey, what's up, babe? Hey. I've been recording myself opening all these packs. Nice. I'm rich. Who needs the stock market? I just opened $50 magic cards. It's fine. <laughs> fine. 
Yeah. Drive safe. I may not be here when you get back. Okay. All right, I love you. Uh, yeah. Josh has killed me a lot of grape shot. Um, this one's for you, buddy. Storm. Big mistake. <laughs> uh, Orcish Flame. This card has been power creeped, I feel like, quite a bit at this point. But pretty cool. Search for tomorrow. It's rampy time. Uh, this card's good. If you suspend this on turn one, it's ridiculous. You just get get the ramp, you get going. Super powerful. Green Elf that taps for black if you don't mind getting pinged. Tatiova, Benthic Druid. Allison, this is your first commander deck, and I have a feeling it'll always be your favorite because no one likes to draw cards and dirtle more than me except maybe you. <laughs> this card's great. Needs no explanation. Field of Ruin. Uh, run four of these a lot when it was legal. Uh, really one of the best land destruction effects we've had in a long time. Um, you always, Ghost Quarter always was really a problem for you not hitting your land drops. You, if you needed to blow something with Ghost Quarter, Field of Ruin made sure that you didn't fall behind on your lands. Um, you do sacrifice some tempo, obviously, because you just spend two mana, essentially. You do get an untapped land from your deck, which is neat. but uh, Super cool. What is this? Um, Crenellated Wall. Walls can attack. Target creature gets plus O, plus 4 till end of turn. <laughs> cool art. Look at these guys. They're like, hey, <laughs> these Mercadians. They stand behind things. They're good at it. Arena, baby. Draw a card, lose a life. Draw a card, lose a life. Raise your hand if you've been killed. I've been killed by this card. Yeah. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Foil Manamo. Get out of here. I'm killing it. We're killing it! I sold one of these a long time ago. Got paid big buckos for it. Oh. Oh, it's just a land. Untapped target, legendary permanent. Yeah. Wow, we are absolutely just killing it with this box, guys. Holy crap. Woo! I need to stop and slack people and tell me I'm opening this. I am recording. Where is this? Is it in Magic the Gathering here? Uh, I am opening my box. The value is insane. I am recording it all for you, all of you to watch. I am way far ahead on money. All right. Six packs to go. I realize I'm talking a lot when I open stuff up. Um, I reminisce about some of these cards, and I have appreciation for the ones that even I didn't play. Uh, so I'm just really excited. I'm just really excited about all the cards. I cannot, absolutely cannot wait to draft this set. I just cannot wait. Decommission. Dunk on a thing. Gain life. Artifacts and enchantments. See you later. Revolt was really a cool keyword. Um, Fatal Push is just an amazingly well-designed magic card, and I hope that we get more cool Revolt stuff. Core Firewalker. If you ever want to dunk on red, this card is insane. It is a Dragon Claw. It is a 2-2 two -two for 2 that eats all of their stupid cards. This card is gross. Um completely shut down the mono red deck in standard when Zendikar came out. Everybody would just play white and they play Core Firewalker and you'd be like, sorry, uh, no mono red for you. Great, great card. Right into being, uh, look at the top two cards of your library, manifest one of them. So you get a 2-2 two -two at minimum. You could pay and manifest later. This card's sweet too. Curiosity, everybody's favorite combo card with them is it. I like this art. It's got Miri watching Krovax. Hey, Krovax. What you doing? Uh, whenever a chain of creatures does damage to the point, you draw a card. Sick. Uh, Nantico Husk. Sack a creature. Gets plus two, plus two. This card basically just reads unblockable for the most part. Woo! Uh, Unburden. Mind Rot with Cycling. Pretty good, actually. Um, the format this was in, if you just wanted to cycle it, it was great. If you wanted Mind Rot, it was great. Uh, Pyrotechnics, four damage divided among anything for five. Uh, this card kills two things. It's crazy. Um, you're usually really happy with it. Magnus Spray, classic. Cards played in standard and some other formats. 
Just two units, hard creature. If it would die, this turn exile instead. Goodbye, scrap heap scrounger. Brood hunter worm, four mana, four three. Uh, Zendikar -y thingies. Uh, as much as I love the expedition lands from Battle for Zendikar, there's a lot about that set I think is very forgettable. That set and uh, the one after it, Oath of the Gatewatch. Beneath the sands, three mana, get a land. Cycling two. I'm gonna move it back a little bit. Sorry, guys. Engineered might. For five mana at sorcery speed, you can make your dude humongous and trampoly, or your stuff gets a nice big free attack with vigilance. Unclaimed territory. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, this card single handedly put humans, helped put humans on the map in water. Huge deal uh, to have an untapped land that just always hits for human. Um, this card will be played forever, and someday I actually anticipate it being worth a lot of money if it's not reprinted. But I think it'll be reprinted. We have an old blue art here. I kind of am excited to see what this is going to be. It is Energy Field. <laughs> this is a weird magic card. Um, prevent all damage that will be dealt to you by sources you don't control. When a card is put into your graveyard, sacrifice Energy Field. Of course, if you have no graveyard due to, say, Rest in Peace or opponent's ley line in the void then you cannot put a card in a graveyard and then you will not take damage and then your opponent has to deal with this enchantment or <laughs> so if you can protect your enchantments with stuff like uh, privileged position or uh, greater oromancy you can just never take damage so oh uh, this card's super sweet and i love urza's saga anything busted as it was and second all is dust don't need to go into the details. Love, I've, I do love the kind of non-border. This was the first time I feel like they did that sort of thing where there's like no border on the card. And we got Foil Grand Architect powering out Worm Coil Engines since Scars of Mirrodin. What's up, buddy? Uh, this card always confuses me. It basically just says your blue creatures are all mana dorks that are ridiculous. They're all we weapon smiths or whatever they are. Uh, sweet card. Five to go. Still got five potential mana crypts in here. Send triplets. Come on. Let's do it. Whoop. Gift of Estates. White card draw. White, white's not allowed to draw cards. Get this out of here. Uh, Lunark Mantle. Sack of permanent this creature against... Boy, I've killed a lot of things in response to these sacrificing triggers. And my opponent's very sad. Wish Coin Crab. Sometimes you just need a crab. Two, five, for four. Ghost ship. If you're mono blue, you can regenerate it. <laughs> four mana, two, four flyer. This card's not as good as it looks. You're like, oh, look at all this text on the card. But the best thing about it is this sweet, the dark watermark. Revenant. Five mana, star, star flyer. Power and toughness equal number of creature cards in your graveyard. So if you get a three, three, it's pretty good. If it's any bigger than that, it really can get out of control. Wander in death. Three mana, get back two creature cards. Cycling two. Pretty good. Shattering Spree. Yeah. I love the art on this one. It's just stuff blowing up. It's all crazy different colors. Replicate. Destroy target. Artifact. So yeah, what artifacts? This is what we had before we had Vandal Blast. We had to play with this card. <laughs> Nimble Blade Kenra. Two mana, one through prowess. Llanowar Empath. Four mana, two, two. Scry two. Reveal top card of your library's creature. Put it in your hand. Oh, so wow. So four mana, two, two. Basically draw a card. Woo! Ivy Lane Denizen. Another green creature has been out of control. Put a plus plus cannot target creature. Um, this card goes infinite with things that remove counters to put green creatures into play. Um, I don't know of a lot of things that do that, but sapperling type thingies, fungal thingies. Um, there's some ways this goes. Goes big pretty quick. Zealous Persecution. Raise your hand if this card has killed you before. Hey. Um, yeah, you win combat, it basically says. This card's gross. Got to do have to be an Orzhov, though. Uh, Reliquary Tower, you have no max hand size. Uh, tap to add colorless mana. I have found a way to work this into my five color Nemiza deck just to try to free roll it with Golos and uh, Knight of the Reliquary. And if we ever get them, then we get them and we have infinite you know, hand size, which is great. Uh, it's a classic. This card will be around forever. We got Impending Disaster. <laughs> during your up this is this is two mana. Uh, during your upkeep, if there are seven or more lands in play, that is total lands, sacrifice... Intending disaster to destroy all lands. <laughs> what a great way to keep your opponents from playing a bunch of lands. Uh, I love that this is two mana and has counterplay. Your opponents can just kill this thing. So it's more balanced than just like, I Armageddon you. Uh, sweet, sweet card. That is our second Sliver Hive Lord. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 
and foil scourge of the throne. <laughs> what? Oh, we're we're killing it on value. It's so much money. Ah, this card was on the foil list. It's like sixty bucks or something, wasn't it? We are destroying it in the foil category. Wow. Wow, Scourge Dethrone. We got to get these on eBay stat. Maybe tonight when I get home. Wow. Oh, uh, can we just talk about this card for a second? Holy crap. So you get an extra combat step if this thing attacked, did the Dethrone thing. Attack the player with the most life, attack with the most life. Uh, also a 5-5 five, five flyer. So, yeah. Uh, we're good. We're good here. We have to have opened several hundred dollars worth of cards at this point. Have to have. Countless Gears, Renegade, Revolt gives you a servo. Woo! All right, you did it. Sky, Knight of the Skyrider, 200-2-2. That can be a 6-6 six, six if you have green mana. Uh, this card's amazing in draft. I would not want to have to deal with This is like the kind of card you want. You want 2-2s two that have, have value. This card reminds me of the two mana, that one that becomes a 6-6 six, six permanently, the Adapt one in, uh, gosh, Ravnica Allegiance. Sora Form Hybrid. Refocus, untap a thing, draw a card. Sure. Mostly also says trigger trigger prowess is invisible text on this card. Uh, exclude, tap counter card to trigger creature spell, draw a card. I love countering and then still having a card. This is sick. I would try to, I would look at this as a card to, that I'd want to actively draft if I was drafting the set. Infernal scarring, uh, plus two plus so when it dies, draw a card. Eh, don't like paying two mana for this, but I've seen worse. Costly plunder. Sack an artifact or a creature to draw two cards. So it's qu quite a bit better than the Altar's Reap, which requires that you sack a creature. And then this, I don't, I don't know if that's an instant, but this is an instant. Gorsewine, three mana, four one. Apparently a Mardu thing. Anger, that's a card you want in your graveyard. As long as it's in your graveyard, you control a mountain. Creatures you control have haste. Uh, and I love the new art. This art was specifically for the Elspeth versus Tezzeret. Or the, 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 the Venser versus Koth dual deck. I had the other one too. Uh, but it got a nice reprint in uh, Ultimate Masters, I believe, right? Angers. Nettle Sentinel. One mana, two twos. How will you ever cast a green spell on an elf deck? I have no idea. Uh, five mana, one one snake, two two wolf, three three elephant. Sure, you got it. <laughs> Jiraga hunters doing Jiraga things. Kindry invocation. We've got an XX black and green. Spirit warrior creature token on the battlefield where X is the greatest toughness among creatures you control. Can I just say spirit warriors got to be like the best kind of warrior like in Magic? It has to be spirit warrior. Like that's ridiculous. Like I saw one of the unsets has do it yourself. Serif is an angel cyborg cyborg angel. That's that's my favorite two two type. But spirit warriors are uh, very close behind. Tap land because we need those. Questing Feldenkrais. <laughs> oh, four mana, four, four. Uh, group hug. You get a plus one, plus one to end a turn. Opponent gets his hippo. You get pro black and red to end a turn. Target opponent gains two life. You gain flying to end a turn. Target opponent may draw a card. <laughs> oh, these old border cards are hilarious. Holy crap. And another hornet nest. Uh, we like damage. Boop. And a funeral charm. Weird. Target player, player discards a card. Creature gets plus two, minus one to end of turn. Or gain Swamp Walk. Ooh, wow. Good utility and super sweet art. Man, the old foil, old borders. So sick. All right. This pack and three more. Peace of mind. Discard a card, gain three life. Yeah. Then, oh, what did I just watch Seth combo with this? Yeah, Goldfish. This was on the Lich's Mastery video where, where you would discard a card and gain three, but then you would use the life to draw more cards and you would just draw your deck with this card. Uh, you just need to come up with a white mana. But you just draw your deck with Lich's Mastery and then kill your opponent with any number of any number of cards that would kill your opponent. Fiend Hunter. Uh, this is the awesome, awesome exile thing until this leaves the battlefield, but you can stack these triggers since they're not the same trigger and you can play this um, kill their thing. You play this and then blink it, and then their first thing goes away forever, and then it comes back, and then you put a second thing under it. Uh, that trick is gross. Sleep! Everyone's favorite limited card, in which you die if you are even remotely at parity. Oh, I hate, oh, I hate this card so much. <sighs> Should not have been printed. Here it is more. Mystical Teachings. Um, I played that Sultai Teachings deck for a little while with Wilderness Circlemation in Modern. This deck was sweet. I was bad at the deck. It was very, very hard to play, uh, but I really did enjoy it. Um, 
Twins of Mauer Estate. It's a 3 5 for 5 with madness of 3. Pretty good rate if you have madness. Uh, draw 2, lose 2. Just a good magic card. Brute Strength, plus 3, plus 1, and Trample. Seismic Stomp, Creatures Without Flying Can't Block. We did it. Ancestral Mask. Now oh, that's a card. Uh, a creature gets plus 2, plus 2 for each other. I'm rudely interrupted by my phone telling me I had, had uh, no free space left. <laughs> Uh, we were saying Ancestral Mass is sweet. This new art that they got was so good. This comes up with my background a lot at work. Big fan. Let's keep going. Canopy Spider. Two mana, one through reach. Sometimes you just got to shut down the little 2 1 flyers. This will do it. Let's keep going. Thopter Foundry. Hey, Peter Norton. This one's for you, man. Killed me with this card a couple times. Sacrifice. Non token artifact. Make a blue Thopter artifact with. Creature token with flying, and you gain a life. Uh, yeah, this in Sword of the Meat gets pretty gross in a hurry. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, I don't know where to put that card. <laughs> Mortar Pod, <laughs> Living Weapon. Uh, creep creature is plus O plus one, and you could sack it to deal one damage to creature. This card was quite good, um, especially in the format it was in. There was more lower power and toughness creatures uh, to compensate for the fact that some of them would infect. Uh, this would really shut those down. Uh, great card. Um, let's see, Weathered. Hey, I got a copy of Weathered Wayfarer now. All right, I sold one a long time ago. I wish I had it back. My wish has been granted. Uh, search the library for a land card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand and shuffle your library. Play this ability. Only if one has more lands, and you can get literally any land. So you can get things like Temple of the False God to speed yourself up. You can get Ancient Tomb. Uh, you can ramp pretty quick once this thing is in play, and you get going. So huge fan. Mind Chatter. Already got one of these. Skip it. And a foil Memnite. <laughs> uh, Affinity has seen better days, unfortunately. So uh, Memnite, not going to be the most played card right now, but people will always play zero mana, one power features. So. Two packs to go. Aura of Silence, one of the better disenchant effects in uh, Commander. Auras and enchantment spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast, and you sack it to kill a particularly threatening one. Good card. Next Fleece Ram. I just bought some of these for playing here. Uh, two mana, 05, Enchantment Creature Sheep. Uh, upkeep, uh, you gain a life. This card's really good. Uh, if you were trying not to die to damage, pretty solid. To red damage, particularly. Condescend. Shout out to John, the Tron player, to Mono Blue Tron. I hate this card. It's really good, though. Counter target spell, unless it's controller plays X and then Scry 2. Man, if you get him for one, you censor them and then Scry 2. That is some value, uh, and it's not even that hard to do. Cloud Elemental, a little 3-mana 2-3, two, flying. It's a nice nice body. Gets around other 2-2s two nicely, too. Can only block creatures with flying, though. Thornball Archer. Whenever it attacks, each opponent, each opponent who doesn't control an elf loses a life. Not bad for a 1-mana one 1-2. One, You'll take it. Dr March of the Drowned. Get a creature card back or get two pirate cards for one? Woo, boy. <laughs> Cards like this make me hope Bracket Brass will be a pretty decent commander someday. Bomber Core. Just some more Boros Battalion things. One damage to any target actually makes combat really, really tough for your opponents. Frenzied Raptor, because dinosaurs. Three mana, four, two. Elemental Uprising. Your two mana land becomes a four, four elemental creature with haste until end of turn, and it must be blocked if able. <laughs> Seems okay. I don't know. Losing a land kind of sucks, though, if they if they have something big. Daggerback Basilisk. Everyone loves our Death Touch on a 2-2 for 3. This card's almost always playable and limited. Osra Oddsmaker. At the beginning of combat in your dream, you discard a card. May. May discard a card. If you do, choose a creature. Whenever that creature does combat damage to a player this turn, you may draw two cards. Um, if you know your creature's getting through, this is disgusting. And even if you never use the ability, 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three, woo! Solid. Big fan. Uh, this card's good. Needs doesn't really need any explaining. And soaring. <laughs> I can't get away from this card. <laughs> we'll take it. Um, dirty secret. I've been using the soaring sleeve in Arena forever because it is the best looking sleeve for the cheapest that I got, and uh, I've just had it ever since. So we got a soaring, and the fact that the soaring is in a dress draft format actually is insane. <laughs> All right, whoop. Belby's Portal. Five mana, choose a creature type. Three mana tap. 
put a creature card of the chosen type from your hand into play. So it's a little bit like uh, Quicksilver, Quicksilver Amulet at a discount, though, because you only have to pay three, but it costs five up front. Cool art. Somebody named Belby helping out. We got... Whoop. Oh, nice! Recruiter of the Guard. <laughs> Search your library for creature card with toughness two or less. Reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your library. Uh, yeah, this card's needlessly expensive. I hope this set is one of the reasons that this will become more affordable, actually. And we got a foil. What is it? It is... Herald of Leshrac. With the best cumulative upkeep in all of magic. Gain control of a land you don't control. <laughs> Seven mana is a lot up front, but you start taking lands. Yeehaw! All right. All righty. Last pack. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Mana Crypt. Come on, Tep's Protection. Let's do it. Four mana, two, two, flash. Split second, flying. Other Krite creatures get plus one, plus one. Hi there. Uh, keyword soup. This card's good. Loyal Sentry. Uh, whenever a creature, it blocks a creature, destroy that creature and loyal sentry. Maybe I should play this in, um, Marchessa. I love the star on it. It's from the old, uh, like starter sets or whatever, right? <laughs> it's amazing. Capture sphere. Sometimes you need four mana pacifism. That perhaps a thing. It has flash. That is cool. Um, ether snipe. Uh, return non permanent to its owner's hand when enters the battlefield. Also evoke. For six mana, that's like kind of like a super mana war. Pretty cool. Return Centaur. Uh, target player puts the top four of the library into their graveyard. So four mana, two, four, self mill. Okay, neato. Desperate Castaways. Two mana, two, three. You gotta have an artifact or a can attack. Nah, it's not exactly Tarmogoyf. Teamer Battle Rage. Yes, best paired with Gurmag Anglers and Death Shadows. Um, I've died at this card. <laughs> really, really good. That Ferocious Trigger, usually pretty easy to get. So, nice card. Demolish. Destroy target artifact or land. This card's terrible. Pillage is much better. Guy's Protector. Four mana fortune must be blocked if able. Man, if you slap dub on this bad boy in Dominaria Draft, if you just put dub on it, you go to t -t 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 town. Fog! There we go. Because sometimes you just want people to get lost. I fear only the... No army or beasts, only the morning fog. <laughs> Our assault can survive everything else. Boop. Plax Caster Frogling. This is a three mana three three. And when things come into the battlefield, you can move a counter off this to that thing and then pay two to uh, have that thing gain shroud. So kind of neat. If your commander's into plus one plus one counters and you also don't want it to die, which is most of the time, then this is pretty playable. Boop. Ornithopter. Another zero drop. Boop. Contagion Clasp. Put a minus on a counter attacker creature. Pay for to proliferate. Uh, this card was a house in uh, limited formats. Triple Scars of Mirrodin. Got that Phyrexia watermark. All right, we're getting into the fun stuff. What do we got? Eldrazi Monument. Uh, creatures you control have plus one, plus one, and flying, and indestructible. That's pretty sweet. Um, this card's great. I got to take one of these as Frenzied Fugue a little while ago, and that player and me stayed alive, so we would both keep it, and then we just kept hitting other people with all Drazi Monument stuff. And the last card is a foil, Shiso Death Storehouse. <laughs> yeah. Well, we sure ended on a high note. Man, this thing is beastly. It's just a land. Tap to add black. Oh, but also tap it and pay black. Target legendary creature gains fear until end of turn. I believe fear is cannot be blocked by black or must be blocked by a black creature or artifact creature or it can't be blocked. Wow. Uh, this box was completely absurd. Um, there is no mana crypt in here and we still killed it. So we need to talk about some of these cards. <laughs> we, we, I can't, I don't even know. I, I don't even know. Like I started putting the good stuff on bottom and then I gave up. So foil intruder alarm. Marchessa, <laughs> Selva the Heart of the Wild, it's a $50 card, Teferi's Puzzle Box, this is 20 the Intruder Alarm is probably 40 or 50 bucks. the Teferi's Puzzle Box, probably 40 bucks if I remember right, um, I have no idea about Conspiracy, Undead War Chief seems good, um, we got multiple Temporal Masteries, let's keep going through here, oh my word, um, Hakon, not cheap, Beastmaster Ascensions, we got, I just kind of put some of the better stuff aside, Foil Treasonous Ogre. We got a Crew Fix. We got Double All is Dust. We got 
There's our other temporal mastery. Foil Lantern of Insight. We got double Sliver Hive Lord. <laughs> uh, we got Shardless Agent. We got Foil Allosaurus Rider. We got Foil Minamo. Foil Shizo. Phyrexian Arena. There's our Foil Grand Architect. Reliquary Tower. Impending Disaster. There's our another. Foil Scourge of the Throne. <laughs> wow, this was just. I'm just going to Recruiter of the Guard. Soul Ring, just because. Make back some of the ones that I've sold. Um, I can't even just... I don't even know what to say. This product is ridiculous. If you can get these boxes for $110 or whatever, like your local game store is selling them for $90 or $110 and change, like, and you play Commander at all or just any kind of eternal formats or you just want a cube, if you're going to play with... I cannot freaking wait to draft this set. It's going to be the most fun thing I can just imagine. It's going to be so good. Um, you got to get one of these. This is this is a love letter to Magic from Wizards. I, I had so much fun opening this box and recording this video. Um, anybody who stuck through to the end, I love you. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you didn't and you got bored, that's fine. You're not hearing this anyway. Um, and I'll try to do better for you next time in my janky phone on Bowl setup. I'll even give you the bonus setup here just before I leave, right? So I was running out of battery. So we have extension cord up here, phone up here, cereal box stand. That's how we did it. So thank you, Magic, for the awesome cards. I'm going to be listing some of these on eBay later for sure. I have no need for a Selvala. I have no need for Foil Intruder Alarm. But the lands I may keep, um, I'm definitely going to try to recoup some of my money and then keep all the good stuff and maybe get rid of the things I already have. So, yeah. Thanks, Wizards. This product is amazing. Thank you to Spanky's Card Shop for selling me the box. I pre-ordered them for $99. Um, excellent deal. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much. We got a lot of cards here.